With aluminium foil electrodes dipped in tap water, you can explore the uniform electric field created by using an LED. The two electrodes are connected to a 9 volt low voltage power supply, but you can also use a PP3 battery. I'm supporting the LED on a piece of wire so that you can see it, but you can just hold it in your hand. If you move the legs of the LED closer together, the LED gets dimmer because there's a smaller potential difference. You can also rotate the LED to increase the potential difference and decrease the potential difference between the legs and make it go on and off. And if you move the LED parallel to the plate, you should see that the brightness remains constant. This idea is based on a great resource from the Perimeter Institute about making fields real, which you can download using the link in the description. To make it, you need two short plastic rulers, some aluminium foil, four bulldog clips, some splints or pencils, and a plastic tub. So the first job is to take your plastic rulers and wrap them in some aluminium foil. I find having a piece of foil that's significantly bigger and wrapping it round several times works well. Then you can clip on the bulldog clips on the ends of each of the rulers. Then you can use your splints or pencils to support them hanging down into the plastic tub. I've got a little blob of blue tack in the middle of both splints to make sure that my two electrodes don't touch each other. Then I'm going to use crocodile clips to connect the top electrode to the positive terminal of a 9 volt power supply and the bottom electrode to the negative terminal of a 9 volt power supply. But you can also use a PP3 battery. You need to be careful using the low voltage power supply because you're going to be adding water to the tub so that it is filled to a depth of a couple of centimetres. After connecting the battery or power supply, you can put in your LED and start exploring. You can also use a multimeter to measure the potential difference between two points in the gap. Don't forget that the longer leg of the LED is the one that needs to be nearer the positive terminal and you'll need to push the legs of the LED far enough apart so that they have sufficient potential difference to light the LED. Then you're ready to dip it in and start exploring. If you dip the LED in reverse bias into the water, it just won't light up. You're then ready to explore the different things that you can do with the LED in that uniform electric field in the gap. You can rotate the LED until the potential difference across it is large enough to make it light up and see how it gets brighter and dimmer as well. You can move it parallel to the plates and see that the brightness of the LED doesn't change very much. And you can try bending the legs of the LED and changing the width apart that they are until the LED just comes on. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and it inspires you to have a go when you're learning or teaching about electric fields.